The clicks are gone, new lines have been drawn, and the coup d'etat is in play. One thing's for sure, it's a whole new game. Welcome to Big Brother. Previously on Big Brother. A battle of endurance left two house guests to fight it out. This is strictly between me and you. With the same target in mind, they made a deal. You really want to run out? Yeah, you are safe. And so is Jordan. And at the nomination ceremony, Russell kept his word to Jeff. I've decided to nominate Lydia and Ronnie for eviction. Hoping to save Ronnie, Jesse, Natalie, and Shima went on the offensive. It's Lydia. Lydia is the bitch that needs to leave. I want Ronnie to go first. And when it didn't work, they realized that Michelle was the swing vote needed to save Ronnie. If we were going to do something, we'd obviously need to have you on board. No, I'm going to make enemies. At the veto competition, the wild card won her second veto. Congratulations, Michelle. You have won the power of veto. Impressed by her effort, Russell made a pact with Michelle. If you're down, I want to be on your team. <laughs> I think it would be a scary tandem. But when Shima teased Russell about this new bond. Yes, Michelle, I'm sorry. She's your girlfriend. I should just put her ass up and say that. Former allies turned against one another. You know he's paranoid. He's not anywhere near as smart as he thinks he is. He thinks he's pretty really smart. At the veto meeting, Michelle made a stand. I've decided to use the power of veto on no one. Who will be evicted, Ronnie or Lydia? Plus, the votes are in. Who will receive the power of coup d'etat? And who will become the new head of household? Find out tonight, live on Big Brother. Can I touch a kiss? <laughs> To Big Brother. It's day 33 inside the Big Brother house, and with everyone playing for themselves, allies have become enemies, and enemies have become friends. Russell, the mixed martial arts fighter and current HOH, has split off from his allies and sent them a clear message by putting two of them on the chopping block. Now, Ronnie, the video game expert, and Lydia, the special effects makeup artist, are scrambling for survival but there is a chance that neither of them will be leaving the house. That's because tonight, there will be a new power in the house, the coup d'etat. All week long, you, America, have been voting in record numbers to grant one house guest the ability to overthrow the head of household and change their nominations. That means the only people safe tonight are Russell, the head of household, and Michelle, the power of veto winner. So. Who have you chosen to receive the power of coup d'etat? I'll let you know a little later. But first, Russell may be safe from eviction this week, but nobody is safe from paranoia in the Big Brother house. I've decided to use the power of veto on no one. This veto meeting is now adjourned. I was very happy to leave the nominations as is. If I took anyone off the block, that might not guarantee that Ronnie would go home. You're the new house guest. I don't recognize you with the glasses. I wanted to look smart. All we need is four votes to uh, get Ronnie out of here. And um, me, Jeff, Michelle, and Kevin are all voting Ronnie out. Michelle not using the veto on me absolutely showed she has no loyalty to anyone other than herself. Now it goes to a vote, and I don't know if I have the votes. Watch out, you might not want to hang out with me. I have the plague. Stop. So I think you're totally fine. I mean, I wouldn't worry about it. Yeah, I still worry. 
I'm hoping that Ronnie will be evicted because he has lied and he has manipulated every person in the house. But I could go home because you never have guarantees in this house. Hopefully I'll be here all week. I got all these like brain books at home. It's just funny, like we have two bookcases and then my bookcase is just like brain books. And <laughs> I don't have any normal reading books. Right. <laughs> I'm sort of bad, I don't read as much as I sh probably should, but I just, I'm too tired. Right. Uh-uh, mm -hmm. we're talking about books. <laughs> yeah. I didn't believe for a second they were talking about literature. I'm very cautious of people whispering, gaming that's going on. What were you guys whispering right over there when I came by and you guys stopped? No, we were talking about literature and stuff. I can tell you're being paranoid. I can tell because you're getting smart with me. Because you think I'm scheming about you. Oh, no, no. I wouldn't scheme about you if you're out here working out. It's a little bit different when you're up there, Jordan, because everyone ever comes up to you and tells you, Ten different things. Jordan didn't want to tell me much. I expected that. I need to figure out what's going down. I don't like that mentality that people are doing when like when they talk about you and you're not there, and then you can't defend yourself, and then there's like no supporting evidence. You're like, you're like, I can't wait for this week to be over. <laughs> I just know that Jesse, Shima, and Natalie pissed at me because I put up Ryan. They're really bad. Um, well, it didn't change anything. They all wanted you out anyways, most of them. <laughs> um, Jesse and Natalie. Yeah, and Shima. Well, in the times where I was actually in meetings or whatever, where the hell with them, it was always, we should get Lydia, Kevin, and Russell out. <laughs> I really honestly see keeping Russell in the house as a mistake. He has to be backdoored. When I talked to Shima, she told me not to trust you, that you're a liar. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Mm -mm. She said that? Yeah. What did I lie about? <laughs> I don't understand how I'm lying. No, I, didn't, I don't think you're a liar. It's just a... No, Shima, you're just jealous because Michelle's hanging out with me now and you feel threatened. Is that <laughs> it? Yes, okay. Everyone wants to make you out the bad guys. Michelle brought me some news saying that Shima was trying to backdoor me. It's a complicated game. It's hard to tell who's telling the truth. She's definitely jealous, because mm -hmm. she's jealous of me. She's jealous of every girl that talks to me, and I'm like, I don't get this. I don't get it. What's up, big man? At, at what point were you going to let me know that Shima had a plan to backdoor me? Shima would have to have the power to do that first off, for starters, big man. Yeah. Bro, I'm looking you right in the face. No. So Shima has never once mentioned that we should backdoor Russell. All I know is when I talk to her, she's never once uttered your name. If that's her plan, I can look you in the eye and tell you she has never in a conversation with me ever said that. So like whoever's telling you is just telling you. I heard that when I was up here from Michelle. It's some BS, that's for sure. After I met with Jesse, I was trying to really sort through everything in my head and really figure out who was lying to me and get to the bottom of this. I'm being lied to, like, to, to my face, being lied to, and I'm like, I don't know which one's right. He's saying that Michelle went up to him, right? Yeah. And she's like, Shima wants to backdoor you. She's Shima? like, That's yeah. what I said. I'm gonna go talk to Shima. I'll that get her out here in a minute. Oh, uh, can you send her upstairs? Can yeah. You? I had Natalie go get Shima and bring her up so I could actually talk to her and tell her what Michelle had told me and find out if it was true or not. 